A school bus has defective brakes. The company claims the problem's fixed. But State Patrol catches that same bus months later with the same bad brakes driving your kids. Fox 6 investigator Amanda St. Hilaire uncovered this kind of thing happening over and over in southeast Wisconsin, and now she's digging into why. 19TR1222. There's a rhythm. 16TR22008. To Milwaukee County Traffic Court. Deviation from designated lane. Making it easy to miss what's buried. Speeding at 55 miles per hour zone. In the pile of speeding tickets. Zero points, 365. Turns out the fine isn't much higher for companies operating school buses that are supposed to be off the road. We're doing spot check inspections of the vehicle. The Fox 6 investigators went through all of State Patrol's Southeast Wisconsin school bus spot checks in 2018. 315 inspections with 95 citations for companies operating school buses with safety violations. Inspectors found issues like this Durham School Services bus in Racine, ordered out of service for brake problems. The company said the issue was repaired, but another inspection revealed those brakes were still not fixed more than 2,600 miles later. Fox 6 discovered similar situations with other buses over and over. And that brings us all cases not previously called back to court. The law says school bus citations are traffic forfeiture cases. We found fines ranging from $200.50 to $393 tops. The bus companies are not required to show up. The court finds each defendant guilty by default. So most don't and just pay the fine. That's a wrap. A few hundred dollars is a lot for you or for me, but not so much for companies with big school district contracts. So while Durham School Services racked up nearly $15,000 in school bus citations in Southeast Wisconsin last year, that's only 0.1% of the $13.5 million each year the company gets from Milwaukee and Racine Public Schools. Clearly there needs to be more follow-up because you don't want to have the incentive where companies think that they can uh, get away with things. State Senator Tim Carpenter is on the Transportation Committee and started considering reform when he saw Fox 6 investigations. If you'd not done this story, it probably wouldn't have been brought to people's attention. Now we have to make sure that it's taken care of. Horn. Senator Carpenter wants to explore adding more State Patrol school bus inspectors, increasing their pay to make the job more attractive, and redistributing their workload to help catch more safety violations. Go ahead and rock the steering wheel again. He's also considering legislative changes, like increasing school bus citation fines, making the legal consequences progressively more severe for repeat offenders, and requiring bus companies to show up for their court appearances. Well, you have to have a hammer and people have to know there's consequences. School bus inspections won't always be perfect. It's out of service. But the goal is to set expectations high. If you let one thing go and think that's okay, it's going to tally up that other things could be let go also, and that's the danger. A danger Carpenter hopes to avoid. Be in default status. By cutting through the rhythm of the courtroom, the citations and inspections, so we don't miss the real issue buried in those pages. Hopefully this will not be a story where, you know, there's a bus accident, kids are injured. That's the thing that should keep people up at night. 45% of Southeast Wisconsin school bus citations went to Durham School Services last year. So we asked the company about that and about those buses that were operating when they were supposed to be out of service. The company says it fired a technician and a manager over those issues, addressed seat defects with the manufacturer, and recently had staff reinspect all Milwaukee and Racine school buses. You can read Durham's full statement on our website. That's Fox 6 now. Dot com. And of course, Durham School Services isn't the only bus company that had citations. So on our website, we do have a more detailed breakdown of that information. So Amanda, how fast are lawmakers looking to come up with some sort of legislative changes to address this specific issue? Senator Carpenter says he wants to act quickly, but he also knows this isn't an overnight process. The Transportation Committee will need input from school districts, bus companies, the Department of Transportation, State Patrol's new superintendent, and of course, school bus inspectors themselves before making any big moves. Now, State Patrol did not want to go on camera for this story, mm -hmm. but inspectors told us off camera that they can write all the citations in the world. It doesn't really matter if they don't have teeth. Well, it sounds like the ball's rolling in the right direction. We'll see. All right, Amanda, thank you.